video, I'm going to go over the mobile app, the LTS Connect mobile application. Um, once you have it installed and configured, you should get to a screen that's just like this. I'm going to be looking at and going into the new device 01. Now from this screen, you'll notice that you can see kind of like a thumbnail image. That's just going to be basically an indicator that's going to let you know which camera um, if you wanted to select one, that, that's going to give you the image and so you know which one it is. These aren't actual real-time images. They're kind of just thumbnails that kind of update accordingly. Okay, so if I wanted to select this camera, I can see that it on the camera it says third floor elevator. If I select it, it's going to bring me to the live view of the third floor elevator. Pretty handy. Another thing that you can do is you can turn your camera sideways. It's going to give you the full view. If I select the screen by hitting the screen, I can go down to where it says SD and put it to clear. Now what that does is that brings you to the main stream. There's actually two streams that are going on. One is a substream that's going to be a lower resolution. That's really um, for just allowing for lower bandwidth requirements, especially when you're streaming across the internet or maybe using your LTE cell phone signal. Okay, if I want to switch that back, I just select the screen, hit the HD, and put back to Fluent, and that's going to give you the substream. So as you can see, that the clarity uh, really responded to those settings. Another thing you can do is you can zoom just by, as, as you would a normal um, way on your cell phone. You can zoom in, zoom out. I'll go back to the clear just so you can get a better idea of the clarity of it. Okay, so I'll zoom that back out. Now another, the other thing that you can do is I'm going to hit back the top left. And so that's just me selecting one camera at a time. If I wanted to bring all of them up for the most part, the bulk majority of them, I can hit new device, the actual um, name right there. And it's going to bring up all the cameras. It's going to give you a four by four view, which is going to be 16 cameras. If you go beyond 16 cameras, just simply swipe right and then you'll get the next page of cameras. And then again, from here, you can do the exact same thing. You can just double tap a camera if you want to view it. And then the same functionality applies as far as turning it sideways, selecting the screen. You can zoom in, zoom out, select SD, put it to clear and they get that clear image. Next thing I'm going to go over is playback. So I'm going to hit the top left. I'm going to go back to this main menu. And at the top left, you'll see that little reverse arrow with the play button. I'm going to select that. Now, on your most of yours is only going to have one device. So let's just say that your one device um, was town place in, perhaps. Um, then you will select the arrow down. Then you'll have a list of all the cameras that you can uh, go back and playback. So I'm just going to select uh, first floor elevator and I'm going to hit start. Uh, oh, sorry. At the top, you'll notice that it says playback date, 926 playback time. That's going to give me right back to basically 12 a.m. If I wanted to change that, I can just go to 12, uh, 925 again, pick my playback time. That's going to be the start time. Right now, I'm just going to keep it at 12 a.m and I'm gonna hit start playback and it's gonna load and what you're gonna notice on the very bottom, you'll see that there is a bunch of red. That is basically indicating that there was motion detected at that time. Okay, again, same, same thing applies. You can turn it right, you can zoom in, <clears throat> you can zoom out and you can tilt it back. Ideally, you'd probably wanna look at this with um, one camera at a time, just because of bandwidth and other uh, requirements that would be necessary. If you do want to kind of look at more um, of the cameras at the same time, I would advise you to do it from the actual NVR itself, which we can um, provide other training as, on that as well. That is the app in a nutshell. If you have any questions, please do reach out. Thank you.